Hey Sandy here. This is day one of a Miracle Morning Challenge. I've decided to start doing the Miracle Morning and I'm going to do it for at least 21 days, probably more. And uh, I just wanted to make this video as a kind of documentary and to keep me doing it because I know from previous experience that when you say you'll do something on video <laughs> and you make that public, it helps to keep you accountable. So uh, if you haven't read The Miracle Morning, I highly recommend it. I first heard about it on a podcast before Christmas and it caught my attention because for the last year or so, I've been trying to change a very long, well-entrenched habit of uh, being a night owl, waking up um, late and going to bed very late, sometimes going to bed very, very late. <laughs> uh, I don't actually sleep a massive amount, so I don't really need it, but I do, if I, um, you know, based on past experience, I like to go to bed, I used to go to bed at sometimes 4 or 5 a.m. and then I'd be up at 10. Um, but what I've noticed is that even though I can get a lot done in the middle of the night, I don't tend to feel that great the rest of the time. And at the times in my life when I felt the happiest, the most energized, the most, um, just having the mo most fun have been when I've been getting up early. And uh, what happened about a year ago was that I, um, I woke up early in the middle of the night. Well, it was actually the morning. It was, <laughs> it was only about 8 a.m. It was in the winter and uh, there was so much light in the house I was staying in that I, I thought I had left all the lights on before I went to sleep. And I panicked for a second, oh my god, what did I do? But then I realized it wasn't that I had left the lights on. Um, there was just simply so much light streaming in to the house because it was early that it was, it was just incredible. And that's never, I've never forgotten that. And I thought at that time, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm missing out on this. And I felt so much energy just from seeing all that light and, and feeling the sunshine and I thought, okay, this is why I want to start changing my night owl habit. And uh, I've done it in spits and spurts, but never in a sustainable way. And reading The Miracle Morning has made me really sure that I can do it. So today I woke up at, uh, I did something a bit silly. I, uh, <laughs> I set my alarm clock for 7 o'clock. I put it on the other side of the room, which is one of the things the book recommends. And uh, <laughs> guess what I did? I got up to turn it off, and then I went back to bed. So bad, and uh, I felt really sheepish. I finally got out of bed half an hour later, so I got up at half past seven. Recently, I've been getting up at about half past eight, so that was still earlier. But uh, I had such an amazing morning doing what's in the Miracle Morning um, that I think I'm going to get up even earlier tomorrow, which is actually what he says in the book, that a lot of people they get so much of a kick out of the first day that they decide, I want to get up even earlier. <laughs> and so I read that, I thought, yeah, right. But actually, that's how I feel because there's something really satisfying about doing things to, to take care of yourself um, before, uh, as the dawn is coming up, that I just, you know, today, I, I, <laughs> I just thought, oh, I want to get this all done before the sun comes up. So uh, we'll see how, how it goes tomorrow, but I just wanted to make this first video. This is day one, and if you'd like to join me in this, and um, you know you happen to be watching on the day I'm starting, then please let me know. I'd love to, uh, to watch your videos, see how you, you do with it too. And um, uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. This has been Sandy the Wreck in Lisbon, Portugal, out by the beach. And the funny thing is my dog didn't want to come for a walk with me. I think because it's too early for him. <laughs> so how does it work for dogs? That's my question. <laughs> Bye.